As a leader, there are five essential platforms of leadership that you have to lead in every day. You have to pay attention to these because everyone's looking to you for your leadership in these five essential platforms. In fact, everything you deal with today will be in at least one of these five essential platforms. Sometimes it's in more than one, but I want to go over them. The first one is culture. You have to lead in the area of culture in your organization. How do people behave? What do they believe? How do they speak to each other? How do you handle conflict? How do you make decisions? How does somebody who does not agree with the decision that's being made voice their opinion and get invited into that? How do you deal with drama in the workplace? What are your standards in the area of culture? As a leader today, you're going to have to be clear about how you are going to lead in the area of culture in your organization and identify those issues within your culture that are maybe affecting some of your outcomes. The second area you have to lead is in the area of operations. As a leader, you have to make sure that you have the right systems in place, that people have the right training, that you know how to move information and move products and move processes through the organization to where it makes sense and where it's both effective and efficient to get the job done. You will have to lead today in the area of operations, and there are challenges that come about in that area particularly in organizations that have multiple departments because they can become easily siloed and information doesn't flow smoothly between them or processes don't move smoothly between those silos within the organization. You need to try to lead and take down those silos and create a more open process of moving information, moving products and moving processes through the organization. You have to lead in the area of operations. Then the next one is the area of results. This is very, very important as a leader because you can lead very, very well in culture. You can have a great team that have bought into your culture, that they buy into your decisions, that they've given you permission to lead them, and they're going to take that hill with you. You've got a great team. Your, your, your systems can be great throughout the communication between departments, and, and all those operations are running smoothly. But if you are not getting the results that you need to get, then something isn't working right. And you as a leader need to take ownership of getting the right results. Did you set the right goals? What was your process in setting those goals? Did you get the buy-in of the team for the goals that you set? Did they believe that not only were they achievable, but maybe it was going to stretch them just a little bit? How did you set those goals? And are you getting the results that you set out to get? Here's the exciting part. If, if you really get good at developing your culture and leading in that area, and leading in the area of operations where things are running smoothly, You've set stretch goals and, and you're hitting those results because the team is unified and pulling together. Now you're in the place where you have to lead through expansion. It's the fourth level of leadership. And expansion is this place where, where you've had some success. You've been profitable. You've been getting the results that you set out to get. And when you are successful, when you are profitable, you have options. Now you have to decide as a leader, where are we going next? How are we going to expand our influence? into the organization, maybe by improving departments or equipment or processes within the company? Or are we going to expand throughout the industry? Are we going to expand markets? Are we going to influence more in our community? Are we going to be a trendsetter in our industry? When you are successful and you get results, you have those opportunities to do those things. And you have to lead in the area of expansion. Know where you're taking your team next. The final one is the X factor. We all deal with this. This is becoming more and more of a reality in leadership today, whether it be changes in regulatory requirements for your industry, whether it be an economic downturn, whether it be some global crisis, a competition, the loss of a key player. It, it could even be a fire at your uh, place of business. Any of these things that show up now as a leader, you, you've been handed this X factor, this occurrence, this challenge that is outside your control. And now as a leader, you have to lead through the X factor. There's a, a great saying in Sweden. They say this, there is no such thing as bad weather, only bad clothing. And that reminds me that we can't, all, we can't always control the environment that we've been given. But as a leader, you have to lead in the area of the X factor. You have to get away from those things that you cannot control and focus on the things you can control so that you can lead your team through times of uncertainty where you can provide them with the right clothing, not only to survive the environment you've been given, but to where they can thrive. So today as a leader, I want to challenge you to be intentional 
about how you are leading in these five platforms. How are you leading in the area of culture or operations? Are you getting the results that you've set out to get? Do you have a plan for what's next? And most of all, when that X factor hits, you have to be bold as a leader. Tell your team what the brutal facts of reality are, but as a leader, bring hope to that situation and help direct them to move forward with success, not only to survive, but to thrive in changing times. You can do it. The five essential platforms of leadership.